This ain't The Walking Dead. I'm a tad bit salty about that accusation, cause I'm the ring master of this mess now. Time for a water break because I'm feeling thirsty. Hey everyone, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things weight loss, mental health, and take you along on my 200 pound weight loss journey. If you'd like to know more about me and my journey so far, make sure to check out the links to the rest of my videos in the description box down below. So in case the title wasn't clear, I actually gained weight this week. <laughs> <gasps> what? You did what? Scandalous. What kind of weight loss journey is this? I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling super gypped right now. Good lord, please don't let her juju rub off on me. Somebody call a priest. She just said that she gained weight and now we need to do an exorcism. Does anybody know where my bottle of holy water is? Yes, that's right. I said it. I gained weight. And it's okay. But before I share the horrific details, just a few quick reminders and announcements. Just a reminder that we are officially done with week two of our four week thick skimming challenge. And I just wanna say congratulations and good job and keep going to everyone who's doing it with me. We are strong. Lunges to lunges, we squat. No rest for us, only pain. Health is a battlefield. <laughs> I don't know where that just came from, but hey, you know, it works. Pat Benatar would be proud. So what I was trying to say is keep going. We got this. I also just wanted to let you guys know, for those of you who haven't seen, I posted two new playlists on my YouTube channel. One is just a playlist of all of my favorite free workout videos on YouTube so far. So there's Chloe Teen, Leslie Sansone, Body Project, so on and so forth. And they're all in one place for your viewing pleasure because I'm awesome like that. And the second playlist is my dance party playlist, which just has some of my favorite songs to dance to on it so I can DJ your next dance party. And only like three of them are actual K-pop songs for now. And I've also been posting the first drafts of some of the t-shirts designs I've been working on in the community tab. So make sure to like and comment and leave your feedback or any suggestions whether it's about the designs themselves or other things that you would like to see on shirts. Just be gentle with my feelings, okay? It's the holidays, which just means that I'm already on the verge of an epic binge like 24 seven. And you wouldn't wanna be the one to trigger one of those epic binges, would you? Just kidding, kind of. And just a disclaimer that I am not a graphic designer by any stretch of the imagination. So these shirts aren't going to be like works of art, second only to Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, but I'm doing my best and welcome any and all feedback and or suggestions. And my last announcement, to thank you guys for your support, I am planning on doing a giveaway once I hit 5,000 subscribers. Only 1,000 more to go, you guys. Craziness. And mainly the reason I chose 5,000 is because I need to figure out what all is going to be in that giveaway and how many people I'm going to choose. Right now I'm thinking maybe like two or three, we'll see. And I also need to do some research and make sure that there aren't any like rules or laws or anything policies around giveaways so I can make sure that I am dotting my I's and crossing all my T's, okay? So I'm not going to give you all the details now. I will do that once we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark and I will officially announce the giveaway. So get excited guys, cause we're almost there. And now for my weigh in, which I'm oddly excited for, not because I gained, but because it's an opportunity for me to show you guys that it's okay. So last week I weighed in at 332.2 pounds. And this week when I weighed in, I weighed 339.2 pounds, which is a gain of seven pounds total. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. I don't know. 
I think something's wrong with me. Now, is all of that actually fat? No. I can guarantee you that probably more than half of that is just water retention. And this is not me trying to be ironic or imitate Nikocado avocado at all. But the fact is, is that I have had a lot of salty foods this week. And again, was slacking on getting all my water in, so that didn't help things. I know it's weird, but for whatever reason, when you drink more water, you tend to retain less. And I was not drinking a lot of water this week, let's just say that. Plus, I can just feel the water weight. I don't know about you guys, but when I retain water, my fingers and hands, and sometimes like my feet and ankles and like um, calves, they just, they feel swollen and almost have like this itchy quality about them. And that's how I'm feeling everywhere. So why did I gain this week? Well, because I had my Sunday cheat meal with my family. And then on Wednesday, I had Mexican food. Thursday, I had Italian food. And yesterday I had KFC. Why? Because I'm super popular or not. Honestly, it was for a couple reasons. One of my coworkers is like super smart and getting the hell out of Dodge. So was saying goodbye to them. Had my monthly cheese most of the time with two of my other coworkers. And you know, just celebrating the fact that we survived last week's full moon. People laugh when you talk about the full moon and mental health, but believe me, after eight years of working in the mental health field, it's a thing. But the important thing is, is that I didn't binge despite feeling super overwhelmed and stressed out this week because of some things going on at work, plus trying to like get ready for my vacation. And I followed my weight loss plan and made sure that all of my cheat meals were social. Hey guys, future editing Laura here. Um, as you can tell, like, ick. Um, but I was just watching this as I was editing it and I just felt like I should clarify a few things. Um... <clears throat> The fact that I gained seven pounds, I know people are gonna be like, you binged. Like, it might have been a social binge, but you binged. And here's the thing, I did not. I mean, I absolutely 1000% ate outside of my caloric range, right? Because I was definitely eating more calorically dense foods like pasta and some really greasy foods. But I was not eating some exorbitant amount. Um, it just so happened that I ate three cheat meals in a row leading up to my weigh-in day. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I weigh on, on Saturdays, right? It just is what it is. They were high salty foods. I put on some water weight. I 110% believe that probably all but one to two of those seven pounds is water weight. Not to mention the fact that I was missing my workouts and my water intake was crap. And the other thing that my mom reminded me today when I was talking to her is that this past week was the end of my time of the month. Um, and I don't know if it's because I've been a lot more active, but my my cycles have been longer <laughs> and heavier. Um, this last one lasted over two weeks and was extremely heavy. Well, okay, I, had, I would have like some super light days and then some super like, oh my gosh, heavy days. Um, yeah. And I'm really strange, or maybe, I don't know, you guys tell me if you guys do this too, but I actually lose weight right before I start my cycle. And then like midway through it to the end of my cycle, I gain weight. Or definitely like I retain water. I don't know if that's just me, so you guys let me know if you guys experience that. I feel like most girls say that they gain weight towards the beginning of their cycle and then lose it towards the end. I know that my hormones are just all jacked up, so I've just kind of gotten used to it by now. <laughs> I always know that I'm at the end of my cycle because again, I get like that swelling, you know, feeling in like my feet and my hands that tell me I'm retaining water, you know, that itchy swelling. Um, and so that's how I know I always retain water towards the end of my time of the month. So that might've also impacted how much weight I gained. I'm not trying to make excuses. It just, it is what it is. So all that, plus the fact that I barely worked out at all this week, well, I naturally gained weight and that's okay. No big deal. Though my face turning into something resembling a slice of really super greasy pizza leaves a little bit to be desired. Yay for greasy foods. Not to mention that I lost just shy of 50 pounds in three months. 
So it's not like I'm behind schedule or something. And oddly enough, I feel like this has been a really good experience for me because I just feel like mentally and emotionally and physically disgusting after everything I ate this week. And it's just been a really good moment of awareness for me around how my diet and exercise affects my mood and how I feel. And I wasn't even binging. Now I can understand why I felt so damn shitty before I started this weight loss journey. It was 100% my diet. So this week was just a really good reminder for me. Not that next week's gonna be any better. Celebrating my birthday on Sunday. My mom's going to probably be taking me out for an actual birthday meal on Monday. And I have two coworkers who wanna take me out for meals next week to celebrate my birthday. Yeah. And while I'm going to try and make healthier choices next week, if I see something on the menu that I want to eat, then I'm going to let myself eat it. Unless I make the choice not to in that moment. Future Laura here again. Um, I just want to put it out there that I'm not planning on eating whatever the hell I want this week just because it's my birthday week. Again, I was just editing and I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds like I'm just going to go off the rails this week. <laughs> and that's not the plan. Um, what I was trying to say is that I'm not going to like force myself to choose the salad off the menu. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it's not going to happen. Um, but I am going to try and make healthier decisions this week, even if it's just a little bit and getting my workout in and getting my, my water intake back up. And I just want to let you guys know this because I don't want you to be concerned that I'm like going to like fall off the rails or something and get set back in these bad habits. Like it's not going to happen. I'm fine. I'm still going strong. I'll be okay. And my goal for next week is regardless of what I'm eating, I still want to make sure that I'm working out every single day and getting my water in. All that being said, I think for my weigh in next week, I'm just going to do pictures and measurements and save my actual weigh in for the following week. I was going to do pictures and measurements this week, but I'm just feeling super, super bloated and wanted to save you all from that torture. So now for my non skill victories, which all things considered, I am super excited for this week. non skill victory number one is that despite being super stressed and overwhelmed and eating foods that would normally trigger me this week, I didn't binge. Instead, I kept all of my cheat meals social. So I followed my individual weight loss plan, which was a huge success for me. And if you want to know how to create your own individualized weight loss plan or to follow the system that I used in order to create it, make sure to check out the link to the video in the description box down below. Or if I actually remember, I will put a video card right up here. Non-scale victory number two is I feel okay with my weight gain and not in a I'm trying to convince myself that I'm okay type of way but I actually legitimately feel okay. And my all or nothing thoughts have been minimal to none because I'm the rain master of this mess now. Non-skill victory number three is that my singing voice has improved a ton since my asthma has been getting better. And no, I'm not going to take this opportunity to serenade you guys. That would require a lot more than 5,000 subscribers. Just saying. Maybe I'd consider it for like 250,000. <clears throat> Not that that's ever gonna happen. <sighs> Delusional. non skill victory number four is that I felt like I could keep up with my workload and schedule this week. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and it didn't completely drain my energy. No more zombies walking around this apartment at night. This ain't the walking dead. non skill victory number five is that on top of everything else, I forgot to take my steroid inhaler three times this week but I'm still wheeze free. Hallelujah. non skill victory number six is that I was actually able to do exercises on the floor for the Chloe Teen Get Peachy Challenge and get up afterwards. It's a miracle. Still can't do ones where I'm actually on my knees, but baby steps. Speaking of that, non skill victory number seven is that I actually finished Chloe Teen's Get Peachy Challenge. What? With my knee? Somebody needs to find me an altar to worship on, please. non skill victory number eight is that I can officially wrap my towels all the way around me without a gap. Best feeling ever. Actually, no. Best feeling ever would be Zac Efron's arms wrapped all the way around me. But hey, take what you can get, right? Time for a water break because I'm feeling thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, those of you who were in that live stream earlier this week, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was amazing. And I told you guys, didn't I? I said, because we're sitting around objectifying and talking about super attractive men that I was going to get demonetized for that live stream. And I did. Not that I care one bit because that was awesome. non victory number nine is that I updated my weight loss plan for the holidays and past challenges. And so far I've been following it. Still gained weight, but you know, nobody's perfect. And don't worry, there will be a video around planning for the holidays coming out hopefully this week. Non-skill victory number 10 is that I started working on some t-shirt design for you guys and I realized that I'm kind of witty sometimes. Again, you guys should know by now that I'm a little bit conceited. Just part of my charm. Though some people believe that I'm just copying a certain other hilarious weight loss YouTuber. Even though I didn't even know this person from Zach Efron until you guys told me to check them out because apparently I reminded you of them. And that was like a month into my own weight loss channel. Though I personally believe there's like no comparison. If that person is Robin Williams or Ellen DeGeneres, then I'm freaking Kathy Griffin. You know, cause like, I just think that I'm more funny than I actually am. And no shade to Kathy Griffin fans. Her comedy style just isn't my cup of tea. Needless to say, I'm a tad bit salty about that accusation. But you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing me and y'all can take it or leave it. And non-skill victory number 10 is absolutely crazy, but I just hit 4,000 subscribers like 10 minutes ago. Like, what the hell is actually going on? Am I in the twilight zone? Am I like unconsciously performing some sort of mass brainwashing? Am I brainwashing myself? Like seriously guys, I am so honored, but what the hell are y'all thinking? I'm a train wreck and not like the Amy Schumer version of a train wreck, an actual train wreck. Like the smoke from this hot mess is so high that people in Portland can see it and know to stay away. And do you know what's going on in Portland right now? Speaking of Portland, I still have nightmares about that nude bicycle parade. Never again will I allow HR to schedule my trainings. But seriously guys, thank you so, so, so much for the love and support and inspiration. And I hope that I can continue making content that you guys find helpful to your journeys moving forward. Sarange. All right, guys, so that's it for today's weigh-in, and make sure to comment down below and let me know what your non-skill victories were for this week. And also, just a reminder, I was looking at my YouTube analytics, and only 17% of you have checked the notification bell when you subscribed, and if you really enjoy my videos and you want to know when I release new ones, then it is really important that you check that notification bell and make sure to set it to all. As always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing and giving it two thumbs way, way up, and make sure to tap on that notification bell so you can join me next time. Bye everyone!